Machine shop. Yeah, boy. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm officially starting a new series of videos on my channel for mods and outwork. Things from raid mod that let you play with more than two people to brand new skill trees that spice up the gameplay. These are obviously only going to be accessible for PC players, but a few of them are extremely cool and you may want to check them out regardless of whether you can try them or not. But before I do this, I promised I would create a guide on how to install mods themselves. I know a lot of people are already familiar with this, but for anyone who's never messed with mods, it seems confusing. Here is how to easily install mods for Outward. Step 1. Head into a browser such as Google Chrome and type in R2 Modman. Click on the link that pops up for this or simply take a look at the description down below for a link to the website. Step 2. This screen should pop up and you can select Manual Download. This will take a few minutes to download the zip folder. Select Open When Done. Step 3. You can also find this folder in your downloads if you happen to close it out or something. Inside you will see a few different things. We want to click on R2 Modman Setup 3.1.32. Select Run. Click More Info. Select Run Anyway. Click Next and you will be able to change where you install the Mod Manager application. Change it if you like or keep it as default. This is going to be personal preference. Click Install. Select Finish. The R2 Mod Manager will now open up and be downloaded onto your desktop. This is an application that allows easy access to downloaded mods so you can turn them on and off with ease in your favorite games. Type in Outward and choose the definitive version. Choose which platform you play on. I, for instance, have Outward on Steam, so I will select Steam. Select the default profile and you will be taken to your mods for Outward. It will most likely be blank because, well, you don't have any mods yet. You can take a look at the online section there to view mods and download them. Or you can click on the second link in the description down below to view the Outward Thunder Store where all the mods are available. Step 5. Select any mod you want to download. You will require Bep and X, so we will do that one now. Simply push Install with Mod Manager and it will be moved to your mod section of the Mod Manager application. Simply select any mod you want to download and hit this install button. It does all the work for you and allows you to install 20 plus mods in mere minutes. Head back into the mod manager to view any and all mods you've downloaded. Select the slider on the right to turn them off and on. You can always download a mod and simply disable it if you don't want to use it in your current run. In order to actually use these mods in game, you will need to have Outward's Mono Branch active. Again, I'm on Steam so I will show you there. Select Outward from your vast collection of games. Right click and hit Properties. Select Betas and you can change the section that says None to Default Mono. Now your mods should work. To use these mods in game, remember that you must enter the Mod Manager and select Start Modded. Opening Outward from the desktop or even through Steam will start the normal unmodded version. This process is very easy to set up and once it's done you can access mods instantly. I highly recommend you download Bepin X Pack, Side Loader, Side Loader Extended Effects, and Outward Config Manager. These are required for certain mods and you do not ever need to disable them. Other than that, you have free reign. Feel free to check out the Trainers of RI, which adds four original skill trees, Raid Mode, which is a very popular mod that lets you play with more than two people, or something like Combat HUD, which adds numbers and timers to your buffs so you know when they're about to run out. There are all kinds of fun things in here, and if you want to spice up your Outward experience, this is definitely the way to do it. Also, I'd like to shout out Probonia for helping me do all of this in the first place. I'm sure he can answer any questions down in the comment section as he himself has created the Weapon Balance Patch Mod, which overhauls the entire game and gives you a brand new way to play with your favorite weapons. I'll be covering this one more in depth later, but definitely check it out. The Dragon Shield gets a legacy version and can spew fire. Looks and sounds pretty awesome. And that about wraps up this video. 
Thanks for sticking around to the end, and hopefully you found this helpful. If you're skeptical about getting into mods, it's a lot of fun, and there are quite a few extra skill trees that I am excited to try out. Consider hitting that like button, and I'll catch you next time.